so cute, like right up my alley. It's adorable. He was a dollar. Like the color is just stunning. Uh, my sisters walked right past this at an estate sale and it was stuck underneath like four platters and I was like, Hey guys, I have recently bought so much vintage things for my future projects like my bedroom and um, the living room that I'm having to split it up into two halls because it would just be too much to video at one time. So um, I just kind of split it in half and um, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to take my house slippers off because it's hot in here. I had to turn the heater down. Okay. Um, bedroom furniture sold. It still hasn't been picked up. And I'm going to be starting um, on the accent wall first thing. So, um, yeah. So, I'm trying to gather things for my room that I know I'm going to want when I start decorating it. And today I found a bunch of um, stuff for my future bedroom. So I'm excited and super cheap. Okay, let's get started. Um, the first thing, let's start with this because this is probably one of my favorite finds is this little statue, um, I guess a statue head. I'm not sure what they're called, figurine. I wouldn't say it's a figurine. Anyways, this little girl, $3, and she's super cute, and she's gonna go, I already know where she's going. I've decorated my room in my head already. I just gotta get all the projects done, so she's gonna go in, the, in my room. And I love her, $3. I'll set my stuff up there. This old swan, it's actually cracked right here, but they glued it and it's super cute. And she's gonna go in my living room when I redo that. My, behind my couch is literally packed with vintage, vintage, vintage finds that I'm just stacking, waiting to use. So, this cute swan, I don't want her to get broke. This, this adorable little basket, $2.50. I didn't realize it was so expensive. I normally get my baskets super cheap, but I'm gonna start hanging baskets in my kitchen window with herbs hanging down, dried herbs, so I'm collecting little baskets for that. These are sturdy as a rock. Look at chip close so you can see. They're light. Um, sconces and um, they're missing the bowl the globe but I figure you could just put the old-fashioned light bulbs that are like super expensive and make it look super cute or I'm gonna keep a lookout for vintage bulbs to put in here and I thought about having these mounted on either side of my bed especially if I find the right globe to go in here but um, I don't know I'm still working on that Either way, I mean, you could just use it as a candle holder if you really wanted to, but $10 for both. They're beautiful and very sturdy too. So I bought these just to see what I'm going to do with them. I got two of them. Really cute candle holder. These are my favorite, the kind that they would, they would have walked with, like going into their bedroom, you know, these are my favorite. And this was $2. This little basket was $2 and it's super cute. I'm not doing nothing with it, but gonna clean it up and use it for the holidays like Thanksgiving or I might even use it year round. I don't know. It's super cute. Look, you can hang. It might be cute with herbs coming out in it. Anyways, that. This horn I got or trumpet I got in Reno at a Goodwill for $1.79 and it was plastic and a lady was in front of me and I seen it and I thought, oh, that's a real, I thought it was real. And she walked past it and I was like, oh yes, you know, I'm getting, she, she didn't want it. Well, she didn't want it because it was plastic, but I just primered it and spray painted it. And I mean, it doesn't have the tarnished look like a real brush. Uh, is this a trumpet, you guys? I'm just going to call it a trumpet. Okay. It doesn't have the real brass look that a, tr a real trumpet would have, but honestly, it's super cute. I already have it decorated in the bathroom with uh, some ribbon and some other little things in the windowsill, and it looks super cute, but 
violet one to put it there. So a dollar forty nine. I primered it and spray painted it. Super cute. Starting to collect old vintage trumpets. These were two dollars each. Kind of show you. They are not matches, or they're not mates. If they are once tarnished off, I'm looking at them right now, but I got those in an estate sale. I plan on doing my piano literally lined with vintage candlesticks and that's it. I don't know if this is vintage. It says vintage 1967, but I don't know if it's a replica. It looks really old though, like the cork and everything in the bottle. I can't even get the cork out. So I'm wondering if it's vintage. It was $3.99 and I got it 30% off and I think it's super cute. I really like this. Um, it says Lisbon wine and I don't drink, we don't drink, but this was so cute I couldn't pass it up. I'm just gonna kind of put it in with my old bottles and I don't know, I'm gonna keep it. $4.50, this odd little basket, super cute. Kind of give you a close up of it. Thought it'd be cute hanging somewhere. I have an idea for old pictures in my room. I already have a set of, I found an old book and it had beautiful black and white like drawings, almost like pictures. So I took four out and I'm going to put those in my room as a little collage. They're literally adorable. I have them put up. So I'll show you, I'll show you what I decorate my room when that's like in like two more months. I'm they were two seventy nine for all three. So I just, I want some old looking frames to put my book pages in. This was kind of different, I thought. So, oh, this was said it's from Thrifties, how funny. Thrifties is an old um, ice cream place here and like a pharmacy type store. It's actually called a Rite Aid right now, but. So I got those, I don't know if I'm gonna use those. I got some old books from my room. This one is black. It has just a really simple writing right here that says, I don't know what it says because I can't read it. Something Carnegie. It's black. This old brown book of science and health. Um, it's not like beautiful, but it'll be pretty just turned like this and stacked with books. Um, this is early writings of like some type of Christian book and it's green and I like it because it's a soft cover and I really like the color. Um, Christ uh, object lessons. It's red. It's kind of rich looking and it's going to look really nicely against my accent wall in the room I'm doing because I'm doing brick in my um, room. So um, the red will look really good with the brick. So that's kind of what it looks like. Super cute. This is ironstone and it's crazed and crackled. I'm going to let you see it up close. It's big. This is my hand, so you can see how big it is. And it has the stamp, it says, Royal Ironstone, A.J. Wilkerson, England. And I love it. This was a still. Uh, my sisters walked right past this at an estate sale and it was stuck underneath like four platters and I was like, I wonder if one of those is Ironstone. Lifted the platters up, this was the very bottom one and it was Ironstone and they wanted $10 for it. I took it. Real brass little trumpets. These had Christmas decor all over them. Like you really couldn't even see that it was a trumpet and it was ugly decor. I got both of these for $5, took all the old Christmas decor off and now I have real brass trumpets. So that's the plastic one. So you can kind of see the difference, but still cute. All right, oops, I forgot I have three of them. This is a big one. And this was $2 as well, so I have Three real big ones. It's gonna be so cute. I'm decorating with these. A little iron stone, I guess. I don't know what it is. Um, my sister-in-law is like, you could use this for your sponge on your sink. So that was a good idea. So that's probably what I'm gonna use it as. I got these candlestick holders at the same estate sale where I got that platter. And I got these for $7. And I'm just only gonna hold one up so you can see the detail. But um, there's two of them. These are gorgeous. Okay, almost done, you guys. A vintage, uh, what you snuff a candle out with, $2. And it's 
long. It's super, look, this is my hand. Super long. Isn't it pretty? I love that. Oops. Almost dropped it on my hands. This is the little vintage duck basket that I just think is so cottagey. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to figure out something because he's so cute. Look at his little wooden bill. Okay. I got these sprigs for 25 cents for all three for a future Christmas um, project. I thought this would be so cute hanging over a <clears throat> my anthropology mirror, you know, like a sprig with a big bow and that's it. Really simple. That's going to go for next year's Christmas. Okay. Th these are, I got these books for $2 and when I say they're old, they're old. This is a Swiss Family Robinson and I love it. It says, I like opening books and seeing like who they were for. This one says December 16th, 1929. A happy birthday to my daughter. And then it says her name from her daddy. I was like, oh, that is so cute. So it's an old, um, see this is kind of what the pictures I'm doing. See this right here? I took out four from another book and I'm going to frame them and it's going to be so cute. It's going to look really vintagey because it is vintagey, but it's got to find the right frames. But yeah, this is an old uh, green Swiss Family Robinson book and I got it for $2. This is beautiful. This is an, it's called archery. Maybe it's about archery. It's gorgeous. Like the color is just stunning. The pages are thick. Let's see when this is made. Hmm. Sometimes you can find the, um, this is made in 1926 and it's all about archery. Isn't that funny? It's so cute. It's going to go in my bedroom. This book is okay. I like the, um, the cult, excuse me, the color. It's just kind of a dark orange. It's not, I don't think it's beautiful. It's self-improvement English. And it was published in 19, or copyrighted in 1925. This is an old book on stories from American history. I just think it's super old looking. Love the pages. This is an old book. I'm not real crazy about the color. It's going to look good with like reds or something, but the pages are really thick and worn. So I really like that because of the pages. This is an old book. It's called Nature's Thoughts and it's handwritten 1908. Isn't that cool? Like someone wrote that in 1908. Like I love history. So it's from Maine. Maine's like one of my favorite states, even though I've never been to it. And I just think it's so cool that someone actually wrote this in 1908. So so cute. And it's a book about like, um, it's a poems on like nature. So cute. Like right up my alley. It's adorable. He was a dollar. Last but not least, I got this basket for $3.49 at the Goodwill. And I love the shape of it. And it's just kind of raw and natural looking. So all of this stuff I got, I think I told you all the prices on most of them. But this is it. So some of this is going in my bedroom when I redo my bedroom. And then some of it's going in the living room. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you guys like this video, please subs well, consider subscribing. And hit the like button and comment below and let me know how you liked it. <laughs>